All right, now jumping into uh, the post exhibit talk for the Indian Rhino, as I mentioned in the Babarusa video. I ended up making them kind of shared with Indian Rhinos on one side, Babarusa on the other, uh, because that's how my local zoo has it. Uh, so yeah, just a kind of simple indoor viewing area. When I was building the exhibit, they couldn't get out, so they had the indoor area count as their only space and they ended up fighting. I was like watching them because they were making a bunch of noise. I'm like, oh, what's this mean? And it turned out it was a fight and the female got injured. Uh, but anyways, I like the exhibit. I like how it turned out. I think I did a good job kind of sloping up the foliage from the outside in. Oh, about to have cloud leopard babies. That'll be nice to see. Uh, but yeah, so I think it's like a good compromise between space like available space for them and viewing you know i have the enrichment kind of spread out around the perimeter of the exhibit to get them to kind of be more out and about but like if i was at a zoo i would consider that a good view uh yeah, sort of similar to the Babarusa exhibit, where it's kind of more open for the most part. Gives a good view around. Yeah, see, like, you can get a pretty good look there. We'll see if the guests enjoy it too. Uh, but these guys also like swimming, so... It's a good dual function for the moat. Let them go. Uh, but yeah, I think that is going to be it for the Indian Rhino. I guess these videos might end up being a little bit shorter since, uh, don't have the pre-exhibit talk like I usually do, but, uh, hindsight with the microphone, not plugged in while recording. Hindsight's 2020. Anyways, uh, that'll about do it for this one. So... As always, thanks for watching. I don't know why he keeps doing that with a neck. I don't know why. Like, I don't know if that's a glitch or like an intended animation. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching.